Hello everyone, and welcome to the Katem January 2024 web app demo. Go to our website and click Get Started to sign up. We'd love to know where you heard about Katem, so please include that when signing up as well. After logging in, you'll be directed to the Assets page, where you can find all your previously generated assets. Let's do a quick run-through of everything you can find here. First, you'll see all your recent activity on the right. This covers generations, uploads, or any edits made on your assets. You can also filter and search for specific assets. Now let's try generating an asset. Let's head over to the Create page. We recently updated our Create page, and we've added a Learning Center, which gives new users resources that will help them make the most out of Katem. To start generating, simply upload an image. Then, you'll need to choose a generation quality. Click on Compare Qualities to see the differences between the three. Then, name your asset. You can also set the max poly count and height. However, each quality will have a suggested max poly count and will update automatically according to the quality you've chosen. Once you've inputted your desired settings, click Generate. Your queued asset will then show up in your assets page. There, you'll be able to see which stage it's in while it's generating. To cancel a generation, you can click Cancel. However, you can only cancel if it hasn't started processing. Once your asset has finished generating, you can find all its details in the card view. Let's take a look at this sword's details by clicking on it. You can add and delete tags for your asset to make it easier to find through the search bar. Under History, you'll find all the versions of your asset, including the original input image or text prompt. You can also upload your own version if you've done edits outside of Katem. Under Details, you'll find the poly count, generation quality, and other info about your model. You can also give it a rating. The Katem team appreciates your feedback. Below, you'll find the duplicate, delete, share, and download buttons. In the 3D Studio, you can show the input image, which makes it easy to compare it against your model. Show Dimensions tells you the length, width, and height of your model. And Show Wireframe shows you the topology of your model. We'll dive into the editing features later on in the video. First, let's go back to the Create page and try our Text to 2D feature. Here, you can generate an image and instantly start generating a 3D asset, all in one place. Describe the image you want to create in the text box and click Generate Image. If you want to try again, simply click Regenerate. Go through the generation settings as usual, and you can then start generating your 3D asset. Finally, you're also able to upload your own 3D models to Katem. Once it's uploaded to your assets, you can use all the features available in our 3D Studio. Let's open the 3D Studio by clicking on an asset in the Assets page. First, let's try the Iterate Model feature, which allows you to both edit and add on to your model. Here, I want to add a letter to the mailman's hand. So I upload an image of the letter and describe the changes I want to make. Let's submit this iteration and see how it looks. Once the iteration has finished generating, you'll see in the card view that a new version has been created. Let's take a look. The mailman now has a letter ready to be delivered. Next, I'll be showing you how to texture your models. You can use our Fill Color tool to manually color and add materials to your model. We have a range of materials for you to choose from. You also have an option to color pick from images by clicking Sample from Image or Upload Image. We also have an automatic texturing feature, which makes texturing so much easier. We have three styles to choose from. Projection, Stylized, and PBR. First, I'll show you how to use image projection. To get the best results, make sure you have a straight-on view of your texture and that the image matches the model exactly. Here, I'm using the original input image to texture both front and back. 
Once it's done, we can click on the new textured version in the card view and view it in the 3D studio. Nice! The textures make the model look just like the input image. Our stylized texturing produces a more cartoony texturing style and is better for if you don't have an orthographic or straight-on view of your texture. Next, we'll showcase PBR texturing. First, I'd like to show you our new pre-modifier feature, where you can view and download your model without modifiers. PBR is best for realistic textures like wood, metal, and fabric. Our PBR textures include normal, color, and roughness maps. If you'd like to texture your model outside of Katem, you can also use our Auto UV Unwrap feature. You can click Go to Settings to set up your add-on subscription, which gives you unlimited unwraps. Otherwise, it costs one credit per unwrap. Once done, you can then download your asset and import it into your preferred program for texturing. This makes it easy for you to instantly prepare models for texturing without having to manually unwrap the UVs. Next up is Generate LODs. This is specifically designed for game developers who need different LODs for assets. You can switch between value and percentage and add in your target poly count. You can add as many LODs as you need and you can also remove them using the Remove LOD button. Once done, you can find each LOD version in your asset card view. You can merge separate meshes using the Merge feature. Simply click on the meshes to select them, or you can use the checkboxes. To select all, click on the topmost checkbox. Once submitted, you'll find a new version of your merged asset in the Assets card view. Finally, I want to give you a quick tour of everything else you'll find on our app. First. We have our new showcase that features a variety of assets generated in different qualities. We created this to share inspiration and to give users a visual aid to compare the different generation qualities. Next, we have a dedicated support page that links to all our helpful resources. Click on the button on the bottom right to access our customer support. If you're on a plan, you can always reach out to us on Discord to speak with our team directly about any questions or concerns. We're always happy to help. Under Settings, you can upgrade or change your plan and subscribe to our add-on subscription. Our LOD subscription allows you to set defaults for three different LOD versions. This will be applied automatically to all your generated assets after you've subscribed. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and as always, happy modeling. If you want to stay connected or learn more about Katem, check out the links below.